What is up guys? So today we're going to be coding something that's kind of simple, but it's not really something that I think we've done on this channel in the past. So I've got a new project coming up very soon that I will be doing as a series on this channel. And we have a lot of images that basically have uh, colors overlaid on top of them with a blending mode uh, that is done in Photoshop and then that is exported and we use those in the design. But what I want to do for when we deliver this to the client, I want to be able to do all of that with the code. I don't want to have to have the client go into Photoshop each time with an image, pick a color, uh, go through all the blending mode, uh, you know, everything that you gotta do to do that. I don't want them to have to do that. I want them just to be able to upload an image pick a color and have everything else be done for them. Whether the image is black and white or the image is a colored image, I just want that to be done automatically. So I think it's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, and this video is really just gonna be us coding that out and making sure that it works. So if it does work, we are gonna be turning this right here into this. Let's jump into the code. All right, guys, I've got this folder set up right here uh, where we have our project that we're gonna be working on. Inside here, I've got this image. Um, and here, let me pull up the image real quick. So this is the image we're gonna be working with right here. I pulled this image from Unsplash. I'm sorry, I do not forget the, I do not remember the photographer's name, but uh, if you just go look up some coffee, you'll definitely find this image. It's really, really great. So over here, let me just close this for a second. Right here, this is what we're gonna be creating. All right, so we're just gonna, I mean, I just put that there just cause, so whatever. Uh, but that image, we're essentially gonna be turning black and white, and then we are going to be overlaying a color. It doesn't necessarily have to be this color right now, uh, just to try this out. Um, and then we'll just add some padding uh, on the inside there to make that white border but that's that's all we're going to be recreating but we're going to be doing all of this with code so that we don't have to worry about manipulating anything in an application like photoshop or uh, anything like that that way this can be just done on the go on any computer if you log into the uh, back office if you will all right so let's pull up our code so the first thing we're gonna start doing is well first of all we need a file so we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna create our uh, HTML file. So let's just, you know, get that all set up. Doc type HTML, HTML. So I had something on here before. Um, it was like a skeleton HTML template, but I totally forgot about that when I switched over to a different computer. And well, um, I, I, I don't know what happened to it. I never added it back. But what it would let me do is it would let me start like typing this out up here and then I could just hit like tab and it would fill all the rest of this out. So maybe I'll make a video on adding that back in. I just totally forgot about that. So here we're gonna save this as index and dot well dot html and it's gonna go right into our tut folder which is right there on the desktop and that's what we're using. So we'll do that. There we go. Uh, let's do just a couple things in the head aside from our styling. We're gonna add one meta tag, name equals viewport, uh, content equals width equals device width. And then we're gonna write initial scale equals 1.0 and then let's give this a title real quick uh, let's just do image blend mode something simple so we can just see that all right let's open this up and let me open this file up in chrome right here there we go so there image blend mode that's working all right, so now we've got to start adding some stuff in here. So there's there's probably a few ways that we can do this, but for right now, 
uh, we're just going to do this using a background image. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it using a background image. So we're going to create a div here and we're going to give that a class of image. Uh, and then that's, that's really, that's really it. We can go in and add that text later, but we're not going to worry about that. All right. So we've got our div in there. And I think, I think that's everything that we're going to need to get that image to, to work. So let's come up here. We're going to add, whoops, not what I needed. We're going to add a style tag just like that. And we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to grab the HTML and make sure the margin is zero. And I'm going to do the same for the padding. All right. So that's the HTML. Now we're going to do something with the body here. Let's do the body. I want the width to be 100 viewport widths. And then I want the height to be 100 viewport heights. Um, and we're going to do box sizing border box. Um, we're going to need the web kit on that one. So I'm going to do web kit box sizing border box. I believe that is right. And then we're going to do box sizing border box. Yeah, that looks good. You know, I wonder if there's like a uh, auto prefixer like package you can install for Adam. That would be so cool. That would that would be really neat. All right, next thing we got to do, let's do some padding of like 2 rem here and then let's just send the font family. I'm going to do Apple system just cuz I'm on the well, a Mac. Uh, and then we're going to do just a sans serif and that's good. And we're going to set the font size. Oh, that was, that, no, no, sorry. This is supposed to be font family. And this is supposed to be font size. And that's going to be set to 100. Where's percent? Percent. There we go. Um, All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's see. You're not really gonna see anything here at all. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start working on our image real quick. So I'm gonna, let's grab our image and we're gonna start coding that up. So let's do, it's gonna be display flex and we're gonna need some, um, vendor prefixes for these, but I don't remember what they all are, honestly. So I'm, we're just going to wait till the end and run the through auto prefixer and, and deal with it that way. So we're going to do display of flex. We're going to justify content center and we're going to align items center. And this is just for the text that we're going to put in the center of this later. Um, align items, justify content. And then let's set a Z index of uh, this is one for now, and then let's set up position of relative. And then we're just going to do width 100%, height 100%. I know I forgot those right there. And now let's go ahead and set our background so that we can see it. Uh, we're going to do image, well, URL, sorry. And then we're going to write the path to our image, which is just image.jpg, jpg, I don't know what a pay is, but center, center, cover, and then no repeat, just like that. Okay, there we go. There is our image. And I'm not sure why that's still scrolling and moving around that I write something wrong up here. Margin, padding, um, uh, oh, I forgot to turn the margin off on the body. Margin zero. There we go. That's perfect. So now it's, it is responsive, which is great. Uh, that's perfect. Um, 
so now the first thing is we need to turn this uh, black and white. So there are a couple ways you could do this. You could use filter and do something like saturation and turn it all the way down or grayscale and turn that up, which I think, and then it would turn it black and white. And that's perfect if you just need it black and white. But well, and, and if you wanted to like animate that, like that's how you'd have to do it. But the problem is when you do it like this, it's going to turn everything black and white. So even the image that we put on top of, well, not the image, the color that we would put on top of this, it is essentially going to turn black and white. And that's just, that's something we don't want. So we're not going to do, do it this way. We're going to have to do it a different way. So the way that we're going to have to do this is we're going to use um, a background blend mode. Um, background, uh, where is it? background blend mode. And then it's going to be luminosity. And to do this, we need to set the background underneath that image to white. So we're going to just do that right there. And now if I refresh this, it shouldn't change. All right, there you go. So now we've accomplished the same thing, getting that image uh, black and white, uh, just doing it a slightly different way. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get our color on there. And so this is not as difficult as you might expect. We're just gonna do image before no, I suppose this could be after. Let's just say after. Um, let's write content just like that. And then we're going to position this one absolute with a Z index of two because we want it to sit on top of the image. And then we're going to do top zero, right, zero, bottom zero and then left of zero as well. And then now we need to set the background color. And for this, let's just do something a little more vibrant and simple. We're just gonna do red. So it's gonna be FF0000. Um, that's gonna be pure red. And yes, I could have just typed the word red in there, but uh, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna refresh this. And what should happen at this point is Everything aside from this little white border should turn red. There we go. That is very painful on the eyes. So I'm going <laughs> to click off of that. So right now we can accomplish everything else that we have to do with that manipulating that image with one more line of CSS. So what we're going to write is we're going to mix the totally screwed that up. We're going to write mix blend mode uh, and multiply wherever that may be multiply just like that okay so now if we come back here and refresh it there we go that is that's that's exactly what we want and here let's i think i remember the code i used uh when i did that in photoshop or something close to it at least um Let's see if that one is it. That's pretty close, if not the same. Let's pull the image up again. Oh, it's like identical right there. Look at that. So that's, you can do it in Photoshop, or you can do it in here. All right. So that was, that was pretty simple. And this is all still all responsive, that none of that changed. And we can go in, we can go in here and we can just add this, uh, text in here real quick. It's just going to be an H1. And we'll just make it say coffee. And then we'll just give this a style here and position relative and Z index of well, we can do three for that uh, color. It's going to be white. And then we can bump the font size up to like uh, 15 viewport widths. 
That way it just scales a little bit. So there's coffee, and now it scales. Cool. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. That's that's it. That is that that's working there. Uh, so we are going to be using some variation of this at the least in that next project anyways so i'm glad we got a chance to mess with this right here on the computer and the code without worrying about anything else i like it it's cool uh i'll publish the github um well i'll put this in github and i'll put the link in the video description below so you can go take a look at it and manipulate this if you want um but actually let me go ahead and last thing that i said we were going to do that i didn't do yet we're just going to take this right here and we're going to run this through auto prefixer uh right here and then i'm going to copy this and bring it back here and paste it in and make sure everything lines up indent that there we go refresh and that's it. All right, now we've run auto prefix on it. So now we are done. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We were able to accomplish exactly what I wanted to do in here. So now all the client will have to do is just upload whatever image they want and they can pick whatever color they want. And this effect is gonna be applied to it every time. So it, it will take the image, it will automatically turn the image black and white so they don't have to worry about manipulating that as well. Um, they can just take it edited not edited whatever the case may be upload that select that color and we're gonna run uh, well, we're gonna put that color over top of that image and mix it with the blend mode and that's that's really it it's gonna accomplish the same exact thing but it's all gonna be rendered in the browser so I think that's pretty neat if you guys think that's pretty neat give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and if you like the content that I'm creating on this channel head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.